Yo, what's up? This is Mafanas, and today I'm going to give you a tank review about T3485 Rudy. So, T3485 Rudy is a tier 7 Russian medium tank which is known to outclass tier 7 brother T43, and we're going to check if it's really that much better or not. So, Rudy has 2,500 dpm, which is more than T43, and surprisingly more than a Panther 1, but it's slightly worse than a Comet. Uh, it also has pretty mediocre penetration, the same as T43, but way way less than a Panther, pretty much the same as the Comet. Comet only has 3% more penetration, uh, which means that you will have to shoot some APCR, which has 194 pen mm of penetration, which is still worse than a Panther. So that means that you can't really use the full dpm sometimes if you are in the higher tiers for example but if panther 1 decides to shoot gold it has way way more penetration as you can see t43 also has the same amount of penetration which is not really good for the t43 so far uh, alpha is 200 which is really good for a tier 7 medium tank uh, he goes up to 300 which is really good as a tier 7 to have a 300 he alpha even though pen is way better than those guys you're not going to pen that much enemies so yeah you have to watch out for that um rate of fire is actually really good for this tank it's way way better than t43s by half a round it goes down to panther and comet but for that uh, rudy has 2.5 kdpm and panther has only 2.4 and the caliper is 85 millimeters which helps you to overmatch some enemies chill velocity is 950 which surprisingly is way better than comet and it's better actually than a panther c43 has the same amount of shell velocity so you don't have to do as much lead and your shells are not going to go, go high up as much as they used so the aim time is 2.08 seconds which is pretty quick as you can see the same is for t43 panther and comet which is really good to be honest as comet and panther has lower damage and lower caliber gun so the same time is really good dispersion is actually better than t43s by three percent so that could make the difference between winning and losing but it's way way less than a panther less than a comet by six percent which is actually a lot so it has eight degrees of gun depression which is really good because you can work the ridge lines and you can poke the enemy and don't get shot in return sometimes it has better the gun depression than a panther but less than a comet so need to watch out for that but 8 degrees is really good for a medium tank but it it slightly has less gun elevation as t43 so if the enemy is above you watch out for that you will need to use a map to help you with that so mobility it has a top speed of 54 which is better than the t43 by three kilometers that could help you get into the position quicker and uh, one less than a panther which is not a lot that's not going to make a huge difference also faster than a comet uh, engine power is uh, actually pretty low so you need to watch out for that as you can see t43 and rudy has low engine powers which i would recommend using the engine accelerator so you should boost your engine power to get in positions faster but power to weight ratio is actually pretty good so you will be able to reach your top speed faster as you can see T43 is not going to reach as fast at this top speed as you are and even though you have 54 top speed if your 43 is not going to reach his top speed faster than you even though you have 54 kilometers top speed and he only has 51 as and panther is really going down in, in the power to weight ratio and because it's heavy and comet is light he can reach his top speed pretty quickly so terrain resistance is, is actually pretty good in the soft medium and hard it's actually pretty good compared to the other tanks the same as t43 and panther with comet so you're not going to lose as much speed for that 180 so 150 is for tier 7 tank it's really good but the only thing that's bad about this tank is view range yeah you'll need coated optics for this work if your review range as you can see it has way less than t43 and way way less than panther and comet so yeah this is where this thing is a little worse than t43 it also has less hp so you need to be careful how you're using your hp when you're trading flanking for example don't trade your hp as much as you want to because you have a higher dpm than them because you you will need that hp later it's also lighter than t43 so don't try to ram anyone with Rudy because you're going to do 
more damage to yourself than you do to the enemy so yeah you need to watch out for uh, ramming and you need to save your hp as much as possible the hull armor is actually not that great compared to t43 you cannot side scrape with this tank very well as you can see only 45 millimeters of side armor compared to t43 which has 75 millimeters that's way way more compared to the rudy and also you're not going to get that much troll bounces when they shoot your rear compared to t43 but your turret armor is actually the same from the front and the hull armor than t43s but again side armor rear armor it's worse so you cannot really side scrape with this tank a lot unless you're only showing your side track that they shouldn't be able to pen you so yeah that's pretty much it for the stats let's go and let's take a look at our equipment so in my Rudy, what am I using? I'm using Adrenaline, obviously, to help with my loading speed to increase the PM for 20 seconds and also both repair kits, just because repair kits is always useful. For the provisions, I'm using condensed milk to boost my crew, improved fuel to boost my engine power, as it said, because it has low engine power, but it has a really good traverse speed, so no one's going to flank you, don't worry, and extra combat rations to boost my crew again for the ammunition i'm using 33 ap shells 15 apcr which is not a lot to be honest and 8 he which helps me sometimes when i see low armored tanks for the equipment i'm using gun rammer to increase my dpm defense system as you can see to, to reduce the chance of engine and damage crew injury and amarac explosion coated optics to increase my view range enhanced uh, gun lane drive to aim quicker improved assembly to get more hit points, engine accelerator again to get more engine power and traverse spin, vertical stabilizer to reduce your aiming time and vertical stabilizer to reduce your aiming time and increase your accuracy while moving, repair kit and high end consumables to make my adrenaline go for a longer time. So this is my equipment for the Rudy, let's go to the gameplay. So I'm playing in a map called Middleburg in tier 7 matchmaking which is really good for us and as you can see there's only two tier 7 tanks and uh, I'm going up and I said in the chat that we are going up just to quickly spot them and see if they are going to come up here so a quick quickly take a look I see T-34 bounced oh well never mind let's, let's search for another guy uh, I saw the heavies in the city and I thought, oh well, maybe they're going to the city, I don't know. I saw the Cromwell rushing, he's pinging to focus Type 58, so I guess I'm going to help him. At this point I noticed the Nashorn and all the other guys and that was not a good plan to rush here. As you can see, trading, which is not really useful for this tank. I wanted to shoot HE but I didn't decide to take a risk and for this stupid plan to rush when you don't know where your enemies are, I lost half my HP, so yeah, this is not good for us, so I decided to quickly get back. I saw that Nasson going for us, and I was thinking what should I do, and I see the Nasson, I'm going to load HE and try to go for him from here. I see that he is going for our KV2, so I'm going to help him, let's go. Let's try to help our KV2 to deal with this Nashorn. And I will leave Chi, bam, pen, a low roll, but no problem, I don't really mind it. Okay, so our KV2 got killed, but he got the Nashorn as well, so that helped us a lot. We also uh, are not trading this guy, so that really helps me. Here I, I had to use a PCR because I didn't want to bounce. And this is where I got a lucky bounce, number one. So yeah, I know that my rate of fire is good enough and his reload is, is bad so I can get one more hit. Uh, this is where I'm trying to use my turret, as you can see, not trying to side scrape that much. I tried to, to bounce it here but didn't work, I got one more extra shot because my rate of fire is way better and now I'm using this Nasson as my cover. As you can see I'm trying to side scrape which is a right play in this situation but you shouldn't do a lot of side scraping this tank and I'm using adrenaline for no reason here and he just whiffed and I killed him. So it's uh, it was a 1v4 uh, when I was fighting this T-54-2 or whatever that tank is, 
yeah, D34-1, sorry. And now I'm uh, alone against three enemies, so I'm thinking where they could be. They were last time in the city, and I don't know where they should be. Okay, I'm going to peek here, and, let, and I'm going to look if there is anyone here. Okay, let's see if there is anyone here. Oh yes, there is a Kiwi too. Oh shit, he properly spotted me. Okay, I need to relocate. Wait, what? He didn't spot me? Okay, then let's kill this guy. Okay, where are you Kiwi 2? Oh shit, there is a guy behind me. Okay, we got the Kiwi 2, now we have to run because I cannot fight with 400 HP against pretty much a full IS. So I'm running as fast as possible. Uh, I spotted him, he spotted me as well. I was hoping he wouldn't spot me, so that's why I didn't shoot, but he missed. Oh my god, that's so good for us. Oh no, we're bouncing APCR. Aim, come on, aim. aim, aim, aim. Ah, I should have aimed more. This is really not good. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, he's properly reloaded now. I need to move and quickly peek and shoot with my 8 degrees of gun depression. As you can see, using gold here because I don't want to bounce any of my shots. And I see M6, so I have to pen every shot now. Okay, he's slow. He's 3 shots away or 4. Okay, we got one more. Okay, oh shit, he's close, he's close. Please, low roll, low, low roll, 50-50, no, he missed. So we can easily kill him, no ramming damage, good. So we have up to 4000 damage and the M6 missed. So I can get one more easy shot into him. As you can see, I need to use this IS as cover. And he's trying to search for my hull and he found the shot, but it's too late for him. He needed to hit the first one and this is the game. So let's take a quick look at the post game stats. We got an ace badge, 4.7k damage, and 100k credits profit. I think I was using booster for that. We got Kolobonovs to win against 3 enemies, in this case 4. We got Radley Waters for killing 5 enemies, high caliber and top gun. Uh, we did most of the damage, most of the XP. This guy was sociable, so I praised him. As you can see, KV2 kill that Nassar. That actually helped me against that Type 58. I would have killed those guys, but at the end I would have had less HP against the IS and M6 in my opinion. In the statistics, as you can see, nothing to watch here. Yeah, for the ammunition I had to pay 36,000, which is actually a lot, because I was shooting all that APCR at the end. But we still made 100k profit, so that's pretty good, even though booster and gave me 34k for in the xp i got 1000 pretty much free experience with booster and 4.3k regular experience elite experience went to the pool so that's pretty good